Hey, happy Saturday, my loves. How are my beautiful lights doing this morning? We're going to get started on today's reading and see exactly what spirit has for us today. All right, well, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful start. I am so excited. Look at this layout, guys. Holy moly. All right, so we do have... Uh, a reminder here to stay in a state of gratefulness because of what's coming, okay? And you want to be fully equipped mentally, physically, and ready for the things that are coming. All I'm going to say about this is the Knight of Cups here is having to do with love. Cups have to do with love. And since it's next to the Six of Pentacles card, which is all about money, we have love uh, connected to the money, which always happens uh, as of late in our readings and that is happening because of the connection uh, with the uh, finances that everyone's waiting on to come in all right here we're seeing this new start this kind of like a whole different uh, scenario um, a new path financially okay and over here we're seeing you know some disappointment maybe because you know a lot of you are waiting on this a lot of you are um and we're going to talk about the struggle guys um i asked some questions in yesterday's reading and you guys responded and i'm seeing that a lot of you are at your wits end actually a lot of you are feeling uh, not so good and in a rut and uh have very little to no money left guys um i'm gonna tell you there are food pantries, you know, go to two or three a week if you have to. It will free up then some of your money to pay other things such as bills or things like that. Um, you know, there's things you can do. Make a list of all your bills and see what can go for right now. It's temporary. All right. But I am seeing stuckness here next to this victory card um, and a masculine. All right. So there are actually two masculines here. So I feel like, um, yeah, I'm not really clear on this, guys. I'm seeing a victory with this page of wands um, after a, a, a time of stuckness, like feeling stuck for a while. And I am speaking to you. I'm speaking to a masculine. All right. And then I'm seeing a victory coming in for you. Okay. But <clears throat> before this victory comes in, there's something about um, good news around money and some kind of transformation that you are going through. All right, let's continue. Okay, so for some of you, this has to do with uh, a work situation, things going on in the background that you're not aware of. And this is uh, spooking a lot of you because um, a lot of you are watching what is happening. You're totally aware that a lot of businesses are closing up, laying off. Um, we have AI now taking our jobs. So it is getting worrisome out there. However, <clears throat> we do have all of these beautiful things that have already started to come in, all right? Um, if you look for them and, and stay aware and stop honing in on the negative things and you start to focus in on the positive things by being in that state of gratefulness, you will automatically hone in onto the positive things. Uh, but I am seeing uh, a feeling of being, you know, just feeling left out in the cold. People are scared right now, it seems, of losing your job. Guys, if you have a fear, um, as some of you that do probably won't want to even say, you don't want to even jinx yourself, but if this is you, if you're feeling uh, subconsciously insecure about, you know, the possibility of your job uh, laying off or um, <clears throat> closing up or moving, uh, just, you know, make a comment. Just put, you know, concerned for work. So I know which reading you're talking about. And I'm seeing movement here. You guys are moving toward this seven of wands, guys. All right. And the seven of wands is becoming protective over oneself, becoming defensive. Um, but it also has to do with 
you know, coming into your authenticity and standing up for what you believe in. So for some of you that have been at these jobs for a long time and have not gotten a raise, it might be time for you to stand up and ask this boss figure very nicely, um, you know, I'm having a hard time paying my bills right now. Is it possible to get a raise of some kind? Um, <clears throat> you might be shocked. Um, and then you may get that raise and you may say to yourself, shit, I should have asked last year or months ago or what have you. All right. Here I'm speaking to a feminine. All right. You're the queen of swords in this layout looking to this uh, opportunity now, whatever this opportunity is for you, you're thinking it's going to be really good because it's going to allow you a lot of freedom. And in the past, you so far, you're experiencing confusion and what feels like deceit. So this might be uh, for a lot of you who most of your previous jobs that you worked at sucked. All right. And you had, uh, you know, shitty bosses, people who spoke down to you, people who were very greedy or, you know, nasty or just a bad, a very poor experience at other workplaces. Okay. So this is a good thing that you're looking at this, uh, new, uh, opportunity. Okay. I would go for it. Um, especially if you already have a job, guys, you can just line up those interviews and say, I'm not, I haven't told my boss I'm leaving. I just want to see what is available before I make a decision. This way you're guaranteed they're not going to call your boss. You still have your job and you can, you know, see what's out there for you. All right. Here I'm seeing this empress, okay, you and your beloved just went through some really hard times, all right, and you're looking forward to the future. It looks like um, you've both done some healing, you've both gotten back together, and you're, you know, in a celebratory state of mind. I'm seeing the sun between the two of you, all right. I'm also seeing that for some of you, you are already a mother, of a child of his or children uh, and or some of you are getting ready to become uh, the mother of uh, the Knight of Wands child or children. Okay, so that's exciting. I do offer a $15 reading. If anybody's interested, you can click on the description below the video. All right, here I am seeing this page of cups. This is uh, next to the strength card. All right, so... <clears throat> I feel like this is a lot of you uh, kind of feeling like you're losing hope. Uh, some things in your life are coming to an ending. All right, guys, I, I definitely want to talk to you. Okay, so please don't go away. All right. Um, if you are feeling down right now, if you're feeling confused about what's going on in the world, if you're being affected by not just the things going on around you, but the things in your immediate family, like we talk about the disconnect, the relationships ending, um, you know, people are going through a lot of pain right now for a lot of different reasons. All right. Just remember, there's a reason for all this. We are going through major, major changes. And I, you know, devised this channel to help you guys, to lift you up and help you go through this very, very huge transformation that we are going through and we're going through it together. I ask you guys to comment so that you uh, feel like you are a part of this and you are, you're a huge, you're everything. You're, you're all a part of this huge spiritual family that we have gotten together. And guys, look at the other comments every day because they're going to help you. But also there might be a few where if you could just answer someone or if somebody's down and out, if you could just say something to them and lift them up and, you know, um, help, help them in any way with words. Um, I would, I would appreciate it. And it's all part of where we're going. So you might as well start practicing the love. We're operating out of love and that is going to change the world. All right. But I am seeing you're needing strength right now, Aquarius. Okay. Um, there are good things that are going to come, but right now a lot of you are, you know, you're losing hope and you're feeling basically like, you know, Things are just getting harder and harder. And I understand that this is the feeling, okay? But 
You need to know there are angels around you. There are protection around you. You need to believe that this is one of the most, this, this time is going down in history. We will see this in our history books. There are major things happening, spiritual things. Okay. Uh, we're living in literally a biblical time. So also, I don't know if this makes some of you feel better or not, but you chose to be here at this time to experience what's about to come. Okay. And until you start seeing these things come in, I understand they just don't look to be true and it's hard to get excited. It's hard to feel good. All right. Um, I see it and feel it and know it. So it's easy for me. I'm extremely excited and I try, I try to, you know, come across and, and put some of that excitement in you guys. So you feel better, but you know, moving along, uh, these endings, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of endings happening in our lives right now, especially for Aquarius, because you are the age of Aquarius. Okay. You're the star right now. Um, you're, more than just my lights on this channel, okay? You guys are, you know, I would say 98% of you are empaths, even if you don't know it, okay? Um, so, yeah, you're looking at, you know, the negative things, the negative things that are happening, but they're saying stay strong because you're going to start seeing some changes, some major changes are coming, okay? Um, so hang in there. That's what I'm trying to say. Hang in there. Okay. My Aquarius is, I'm seeing a commitment. This queen of cups, uh, is in a commitment with this king of swords over here. All right. But I'm also seeing, um, it's some kind of, uh, this queen of wands is in, in the mix here somehow. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like a sister maybe to the King of Swords. She's very positive. Okay. Um, she's actually helping you behind the scenes. She must really like you. All right. So I'm talking to the Queen of Cups right now. You're in a commitment with this King of Swords. This is either a marriage or um, this is, you know, a, a committed relationship. All right. The King of Swords has a sister and whether you like her or not, she is very positive about this relationship. So I, I don't think you dislike her. I think she likes you and she likes you for her brother. So she is, uh, being very positive. Um, her, her, this King of Swords does talk to her from time to time. Um, and she is very supportive of your relationship. Okay. Here I'm seeing, uh, some kind of Something coming to fruition for my aquas, something that's going to bring in a, a celebration. All right. And I'm seeing movement with this. I'm seeing that this is going to happen for you within the next day or two, maybe. And uh, even if you're feeling uh, the opposite right now, you, you might be feeling conflicted uh, about your finances, possibly. I'm seeing a, a change coming in. All right, a change coming in, and I'm seeing a lot of you are going through stuckness and concern um, and holding on to the past, it looks like. Okay, a lot of you still holding on to uh, brokenness, broken hearts. Um, yeah, because this is a time, guys, where we're separating people. Um, what is that saying? Somebody's going to comment and let me know. It's in the Bible. It, it, it's where God separates the tear from the uh, something else. Okay. I believe it, it represents the strength, the strong, uh, positive, you know, um, the good from the evil, the wheat from the tear. I think it, it is. Okay. So we are being separated for a reason. Um, things, you know, are changing immensely for my aquas. So your relationships that you're making decisions on right now are, it's going to be difficult for a little bit, but it's necessary. All right. It's necessary. You guys are using your intuition. And because you're doing that, 
um, in a little while you're going to see things do a 180 okay this is just going to make room around you to bring in positivity versus negativity and to get rid of you know all of these um, sensations that you go through such as fear um, maybe shame embarrassment or you know whatever these emotions are that that are not good the negative ones you know we're making space and room around us by getting rid of negative uh, relationships things from the past that have brought us down we're making space all around us to bring in all the positive things that are ready to come in Aquarius okay so they're showing you and they're saying you're going to get clarity on this okay a lot of you already have a lot of you know what you're doing um and yeah in the middle i'm seeing you're very focused on this the people the people in your life okay um and wow okay so let me just show you this okay so this is about you my aquarius uh you're gaining knowledge you're gaining clarity about what your needs are what's going to be good for you you're putting yourself on a pedestal finally you're seeing yourself as the star okay and here are the people around you that you're focusing on intently uh regarding this okay so all of you are starting to see this and i am so happy about this guys and you know comment below if even if you haven't quite made the decision to change it or have done anything about it if you're starting to notice what i just said to you please comment below the video all right and here we have the hermit no oh, nice all right so spirit is saying this all right do not feel alone right now if that's what you're feeling loneliness okay because it's important that you know, we do spend time by ourselves right now to get our thoughts together um, because generally speaking, um, and we've talked about this before, Aquarius, we're on autopilot, you know, with background noise, cell phones constantly scrolling, radio every time we get in the car, uh, television in the background, even a lot of you are sleeping with the TV on. And we need to get back to basics so we can become thinking people again instead of just moving through our lives like robots on autopilot all right um and that is causing a lot of us to even stop feeling uh, some of us are numb um we're just buried in all of that white noise okay so they're saying it's, it's good to spend time alone not that you need to be lonely and always be alone but this is going to help you it's going to help you get the things you want and get the justices get it's going to help you um get your thoughts together on what is coming all right this this layout right here um which i just put together is nothing short of amazing okay we have the justice card in the middle with something you're wanting we have the nine of pentacles here guys this is not just about your independence and success coming up this is about your freedom wealth and also this could be regarding a property somebody if somebody's trying to require um or somebody's trying to get a property right now uh, you're going to get this property if this is something you want i see a justice something you want next to that this is the card of want and the wheel of fortune is getting all of your dreams fulfilled this is everything represented in what we talk about with the fifth dimension meaning that you're going to have wealth you're going to have your independence you're going to um, feel happier safer uh, serenity peace all the things that we think about as a pipe dream are getting ready to come to fruition okay this card can also represent uh oversight over humanity angelic protection all right but with these four cards here guys i'm seeing um a great justice coming um that is going to surprise and excite you okay and here with the manifestation card all right manifesting happiness and joy all right you guys are uh for the most part 
you're in between timelines right now guys so listen to me carefully okay this is I'm, I'm almost finished here so two more minutes um this is very important now you're you're flip-flopping as i am okay you're seeing all the negativity in this timeline and you know you're almost you have like one foot in that other timeline where this is creating right now for you you are in creation mode whether you see the things you're creating yet or not they are already being created so you're manifesting joy and happiness all right whether you know it or not um with the nine of wands okay the nine of wands guys the nine of wands tells us that um you know, we feel like we're in this ongoing battle. We're tired. We're fatigued. We're feeling setbacks, okay? This is in the center. But over here, they're saying something, some kind of communication will be coming in very quickly. Uh, some kind of offering, some kind of response from what you're manifesting, okay? And you are going to end up on top, okay, Aquarius? You are going to end up with this, as this King of Cups, which is love and strength and wealth, okay? I'm going to end the reading now. I'm going to end on this note. It's a very good note to end on. If you haven't done so, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit uh, the, uh, the notification button for me please it will help me out it helps the channel and i love you all and i will see you tomorrow